Hello and welcome back to Russ Plays Games. My name is Russ and uh, this is Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. And uh, when last we left off, um, we defeated the Falls Basin off to the left and the Wintry Cave off to the right. And um, we uh, kind of explored this whole area of Aquaria and we found out that um, the uh, wake water didn't do much to the town. So now we have to... Uh, go up to the ice pyramid there up at the top but uh, this is that one battlefield that was right next to the wintry cave and um, it's populated mostly by these little desert hags um, in fact I think every single one of these has been uh, one of those attacks and <laughs> one of those uh, guys there none the desert hags um, they're pretty simple to take out if you use the jumbo bombs that we acquired in the falls basin and we get 600 gold for our trouble and so now we're going to head over here and we're going to head up and we're going to hit this little battlefield and then we're going to take care of the ice pier. Um, this is a new enemy that uh, we encountered and they are called um, the mage and they have the silence spell. But because we have the uh, uh, magic rings we are strong against silence attacks so it doesn't matter. And um, you can take them down pretty easily, either with the fire spell or with a jumbo bomb. Uh, um, Phoebe's bow of grace works pretty well too. And we get 540 experience points for that. And as you can see, I've actually gained another level. I'm level 14. So now it is time to go to the ice pyramid. And you're probably thinking, now wait a minute, how am I supposed to get in there? Well, remember when I said that you could uh, that you could uh, use your sword, you know, and you could do things, and that might be important someday. Well, I see a switch on the statue, but I can't reach it. Let's push it with something. <laughs> use your sword. Now you'll notice that it doesn't look like this place has anybody in it. How can that be? I mean, there has to be monsters around in here somewhere, right? Well, there are. We're just haven't run into any yet. It's because the monsters in here are invisible. That didn't go the way I wanted. <laughs> so we're going to try to find a brand new um, key item in here that will help us. Now, these little uh, Lamias... Um, are weak to the uh, wizard spell of thunder. And I think I mentioned that last episode. Um, so when you just fight a group of them like that, you just fight them that way. And there it is, the magic mirror. Now you hear that noise, that means that we have, um, we have heard. So here's our weak water, here's our magic mirror. Um, and so now, all of those monsters that were invisible are now visible. Like that guy right there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. See, you're not going to be out of bombs. <laughs> Ever. This game is very liberal with its uh, usable items. Um, so you can see here we have a few areas that we need to go into. Um, we will be entering pretty much every single one of those. Um, there will be another sword in here that we will want to get. Um, so we're definitely going to want to make sure that we head into every single one of these um, areas. Otherwise, where's the point? 
All right, come on. Let's go. If she'd done her job properly in the first place, we wouldn't have been in that situation. Okay, now you'll notice this little central area right here. Okay, with all these different um, statues in the center there with the switches. Um, and you'll notice that there's this little um, thing that it looks like down below there's an actual um, floor down there. That will become important in a little bit. So first off, we're just going to kind of come around here. Let me see here, I think. Actually, before I go that way, I think I want to go up first. I think I want to go up that right-hand path first. So let's come back down here. Let's go over here. I just kind of like this level because, like, the walls there, they look like they kind of have, like, some hieroglyphics on them. So it's like an almost, like an actual pyramid. Um, so our goal is that central room there that I mentioned with all those blue statues, we're going to want to end up there eventually. So what we're going to want to do is, is we're going to want to work our way all the way up to the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fall all the way to the bottom. And then that's, we're going to sight the boss from there. And then we're actually going to chase the boss back up kind of pretty much about the middle. And then we're going to fight him. Um, and he's a pretty hard boss. He's fairly difficult. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. It's just a little easier that way. I don't think that my, um, <laughs> actually we can probably even just do it this way. Because it really doesn't matter at this point. <clears throat> Man, she is missing a lot today. It's weird. But you want to go in these different areas. So remember that one thing that was a boss before? Well, now he's a normal enemy. And he's weak to the... Uh, he's weak to the thunder spell. <laughs> oh, he's strong against thunder attack. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm stupid. Why was I thinking that a water enemy would be weak to a thunder attack? Oh. Man. Okay, so we got that. All right, so now I think we're gonna go up and down. So we'll go to that left side path there first. I think that takes us to where we just were. There's a couple of Lamia in our way. So let's kill these guys. And as you can see, the Jumbo Bomb has greatly increased my uh, my attack power. Um, and now I'm level 15. Alright. So, let's go fight these Lamias here. And this is why I said you wanted all these seeds, because when you start going through here, you are going to run out of magic really fast. And so, you just want to be able to get yourself back up to full. Alright, past these desert hags and we'll be on our way. Yeah, so I always like this pyramid place. Um, and even in the background there, you can see the wall just kind of has those like similar like hieroglyphics on it. I always thought that was kind of cool. Just a pretty cool little touch, you know, because it's an ice pyramid. And uh, it's, um, you know, kind of the same sort of thing. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Oops, no, I want to do that. I want to do that. I'm going to hit her with that. And then we'll just use our bombs and bow of grace. And there we go. 
Game. Yeah. Okay. So what's kind of cool is um, you can actually walk up here like this. <laughs> and you get some arrows. And then we can go down through these lamia. But it won't matter. <laughs> I just kind of forgot I wasn't carrying the uh, oh, grace. Or I wasn't carrying the bombs at that point. All right. Um, so just so you know, because I mentioned this before, when you hit control, you can see that it does that. I can hit it with the Y button, and then I can actually go in from the menu and go down to configure, and I can control it from there. I just wanted to mention that. I, I don't think I have mentioned that before. Um, and um, so these guys are weak against the fire attack, but as you can see, my fire attack isn't strong enough to be able to kill them all. Um, so Phoebe kind of needed to clean up there. Um, and now we're going to fight some more of these little birdie guys here. These guys are pretty nasty, but. They are weak against the shoot attack, and their bombs work pretty good, especially if I can, well, if I went second, but. <laughs> but yeah. So there's actually our second level armor, and uh, our uh, second level sword is in here. So we've got a couple of upgrades that we're actually looking for here inside of this um, particular uh, area so yeah we're just gonna continue uh, let's continue forward through here hopefully get through in a timely manner <laughs> um, and so yeah oh manticores or sphinxes oh I hate these guys Oh, good. Because those guys can confuse you, and we don't have the ability to block confusion yet. And so, they can just sit there and confuse and confuse and confuse. Ugh, hate those guys. Alright. There we go. Alrighty. I guess they're pretty strong against the, uh, oops. Okay, so we're gonna wanna heal her. That's, I was gonna say that's probably gonna kill me, but it didn't quite yet. Damn it. <laughs> Come on. This is just really, this is a long battle right now. I don't know why this is taking so freaking long. It shouldn't take that freaking long. All right. Serious? God. Well, she's dead, and I can't revive her because I don't have a life spell. So, I think I'm just gonna have to keep attacking you guys. Oh. <sighs> I hate these. Hopefully this will kill him. Yeah, not quite. God damn it. 
It's just pissing me off. God. Thank God it didn't work. Golly. Never had a battle take that freaking long before. Man. Okay. Oof. Okay. So these are gathers. Um, these are a new enemy, and they can do a lot of the same thing that we saw those birds doing, um, but they are weak to something. <laughs> They're weak against the bomb attack. <laughs> I just love how their eyes get like all really big and bloodshot. That's pretty awesome. And here's a palette swap of that crab we fought called the Freezer Crab. We fought this in the Falls Basin, and so this is just the normal enemy of him. I haven't gotten any bombs yet. That is weird. All right. So, what we are going to do... Oops. We're going to come back up through here. Back up around here. I'm going to drop down. And now... We're going to go up... All right. And we're just going to keep doing what we're doing here through the allowed me to uh, jump through here and this chest is just full of arrows um, and so and that's pretty much it for that um, this is just a dead end down here so um, now if we come up here if we come over here Hopefully, yeah, I'll be able to hit those guys. 
and that might kill him. And Phoebe will use her bow of grace. And there we go. Simple. to talk about with this um, it's just trying to get through this pyramid fairly quickly okay so there's that guy I think that's the direction we actually want to go in so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna come back over here and uh, we're gonna go back down here and we're gonna go up there to the north and we're gonna find some of those things up in there and see what we get trying not to use a ton of like my equipment and stuff because I don't really want to you know use a whole bunch of it I just don't want to use up all my seeds before I get to the boss um, so you might be seeing me just kind of like you know not using certain things and that's the reason <laughs> She can be confused because I was able to uh, go before her and actually kill that guy before Phoebe could shoot me with her bow of grace. I've yet to have that happen. <laughs> with the bow of grace. <laughs> I'm blissfully sleeping away. Alright. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else over here. Yeah, this is just a dead end. Okay. Okay, so this is the area where the uh, two little rock birds were. There we go. And then with my jumbo bombs. Finding arrows like mad, but I'm not finding any. Uh, <laughs> I'm not finding any explosives. It's kind of funky. I don't think I've ever had that before. Very strange. Okay. And now, hey man, let's fight. Sphinx because he can cast uh, confusion and I do not like that at all. Oh, 
should kill them. <clears throat> here. I know it doesn't seem like it, but um, there we go. I'll just have her defend for now. Uh, it's a little easier that way. All right. I don't know why we need to go this way. Okay. Um, so, down below us there is a little switch. And you can see this switch down here. And what we're going to need to do is, is we're going to need to go to that switch. And we're going to need to hit it. Because we can't get into where we need to go without hitting that switch. So, that reminds me, okay. <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna come up here. Okay, we're gonna hit that because you see this big area off to my left there, over that way. Um, and we're gonna need access at that central room. Um, and in order to do that, we have to go through that door that we just opened up with the switch, and then we're gonna go actually into that. So if we had gotten to that point without coming over here, we would have had to backtrack all the way to here, plus all those fights. So I'm kinda glad I actually went this way first, because I figured I had to. Um, so, now we're gonna fight some more of these guys. And, uh, we're just going to keep on trucking. Oof. So now, um, once I upload these, I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to, uh, be kind of, you know, telling me, hey, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's an easy way, cheap way of defeating the final boss. Well, what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> is um, I'm going to save right before we get to the final boss. I'm going to beat the final boss the normal way. And then I'll go back at the end of the video, after the ending and everything, I'll have a, a short stint at the end of the video where I will go back and show you the cheesy way to beat the boss. Um, and it's like super easy to beat him. And once you know the cheat, you'll just be like, oh, okay, well... <laughs> You know, this, you know, this doesn't matter anymore. But, um, even though it's kind of a cheese way to beat the boss, it, it's still, um, not, um, I, I, I still think that, that a lot of people kind of miss the point, um, that, you know, the game is still pretty fun up to this point. I mean, you know, the game is still pretty fun to beat. And, I mean, it's like, yeah, sometimes if I just want to go in and beat the game really quick, I can go cheese the boss. Um, which is fine, I don't care. But, um, my, my point is that, um, when you, um, when you play the game normally, when you beat the game normally, it's a satisfying boss fight because you really feel like you're battling the boss, like you're battling that guy back and forth, you know, and it's and you really feel like you're doing um, a fun job, right? Um, so I, I think in a lot of ways, um, sometimes when people 
you know, are like, oh yeah, man, the boss is so the end boss is so cheesy, so easy to beat. Well, he can be at some times, but he's not necessarily, um, you know, the he's not necessarily the, you know. Um, he's not necessarily the the cheesiest end boss I've ever seen. Okay, he's not necessarily the easiest end boss I've ever seen. Um, probably the easiest end boss I've ever faced it off against um, was either the Time Devourer from Chrono Cross, if you can cast the elements in the right order, and then be able to cast the Chrono Cross element because there is no final boss fight at that point. Um, or uh, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. I mean, if you have Knights of the Round and you have the Mimic. Um, you have the mime materia, or you have like mastered um, knights of the round a couple times, and you know you've um, and you've got plenty of it. You just you beat the boss very easily. I mean, you can. I mean, like Genova Absolute went down in like one round, and I think Bizarro Sephiroth went down in two, and I think Safer Sephiroth went down in like five. So. I'm not a huge fan of the um, of the you know some of the end bosses and, and like you know some people are gonna say oh yeah man this you know this boss he's you know he was supposed to be this way well yeah kind of but you know he was supposed to be um, he was supposed to be beaten a certain way and I think that the programmers coded the last boss for this game a certain way and they just didn't go back and um, fix that in the code before they released the game and they also might have done it because I think somebody said that it was in the original um, it was in the original manual um, and so or the original strategy guide for it, they kind of gave you a way to quickly beat the end boss, and um, and and it's like to me, it's like yeah, whatever. I mean, they they did it the way that they wanted to do it, and um, you know, for me, it's not that big of a deal to you know play the game and have fun. Um, so now we want to be in there. See how we can walk behind. It's that switch. <laughs> so we need to get into that room and hit that switch. <laughs> and then we can get in there and get that chest. Alright, um, let's... Let's do that. And we might need to use some seeds now. We're completely out of magic. We'll see. Let me just walk around really quick because I think because I know I have to hit that one switch and then I have to backtrack back and get that particular thing I'm pretty sure that's what that switch does yeah okay I just wanted to make sure okay in fact now that I'm I think I remember now. I think you fall down into this room from above, and then you use this um, to do that. So, okay, that's it now. Ah, bless it. Shoot. Ah, frickin'. Come on. Shoot. Well, I can't do anything. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> hate these. <laughs> they suck. Now kill him. Thank you. At least I can kill him. Jeez. 
Okay. So now I think. Yeah. Okay. And then, um. Okay. And so now we're going to. Can't carry any more arrows. Get some cure potions. Can't carry any more arrows. I'm going to avoid the sphinxes and I'm going to fight this guy. <sighs> Wait a minute, hold up. There we go. What I'm hoping is. Hit him this time. Thank you. God. And that's why I'm saying if everything goes right, then we don't have to worry about that too much. Alright. An arrow. Refreshers. And there's our noble armor. Alright. So this is the second level of armor for us. And um, so it ups our defensive power. Okay, and um, you can see that we are now immune to poison and water. Um, so water attacks won't hurt us as much. Um, and that's going to become um, extremely important as we continue um, forward with this. And we're just going to continue on forward. Just continue going towards the top. Okay. So the main thing that we're going to want to do, um, we want to get to the center of this thing because that's where we're going to drop down. Okay. Um, so. Now if this goes good, we might be able to Good. Um, hopefully, we can get through this fairly quickly. Sometimes the petrify attack um, does work, um, other times it doesn't. Um, now bless it. It's not what I wanted. thing is when she can actually hit the guy. Actually, I'm going to just do this. Easier. I don't have to worry about it. 
The thing is, you can't get to that stairwell from here. When you actually have to get that stairwell from below, which is one of the reasons why we have to go from the top all the way down. Um, so if you noticed there in the center of that one particular um, area, there was that little cracked piece of ice. There's some things that you can use in those, but I'm not going to worry about it right now because um, these guys are <laughs> kicking my buns. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, now, normally if you thought that you could turn, you'll notice that I can't turn. Like when I hit right or left, I go right or left. So I can't like be on that little one spot and try to like turn and jump. It doesn't work that way. Like I would fall down. Um, but if we put this right here, then we can fall down here. Now you'll see that we're here in the middle of that room in the fourth floor. If we fall down, we're on this part. If we fall down, we're on this part. If we fall down, we're here. And if I hit that, that opens up this area down below us where we can fall down. And now we want to go to the south. So we're going to fight these Lamias. And uh, she will do that. Now, normally in Final Fantasy, um, when a person who is asleep is hit, they will wake up. Sometimes that doesn't happen, and also when they're confused, sometimes when they get, like, most of the time in the normal Final Fantasies, when they get hit, they will then, um, become normal, um, or not normal, but, um, they will revert back to their, their own self. Sometimes when they're asleep, or when they're confused, they'll get hit, and they won't come out of that state. Um, I still don't understand why that is. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <clears throat> I don't know why they programmed it that way. <sighs> that is the ultimate weapon. Finally. Alright. So now you'll see that down below us, there's an area down below us. And you'll see this guy right here. We climb up. I'm enjoying our little game. He disappears. Okay. So what we have to do is... So I'll show you here. Um, this is our second weapon, the Knight Sword. Look at my attack power now. It's at 97. It's equal with hers. Okay. So yeah, the Jumbo Bomb has a 112, but this attack is freaking awesome. Okay, so now that we've walked down here, so you can actually, actually walk underneath here. Okay, and then we're going to hit these Lamias, and... See, now I'm doing as much damage as she is with the Bow of... <laughs> that she does with the Bow of Grace, and... Like, I am kicking some serious tail. This thing is awesome. Now, before we go all the way up, one of the cool things that you can do, and I didn't find this out until later, is you can actually blow up these little things here. Um, <laughs> it's just some fun you can do. Um, you don't have to do it, but <laughs> I just thought it was kind of fun. Um, now, you have these two gathers on either side, but you have to take out these guys. Um, so, and burn it. Shoot. <sighs> Bless it. I hate these guys. See, like right there, they're attacking me, and I should come out of the um, 
And see, now I'm strong against water attack. But I should have come out of the confusion on the first attack that they did against me, and it didn't. So um, that kind of sucks. Um, He has it in for Phoebe. Holy cow. Okay, so now we are going to glide. Before we face those guys, I'm going to heal up and we're going to save. she can kill him with low grace. So good. Alright. Alright. So now we're on that little stairwell that we were on before. And so if you wanted to, you could open those and then if you wanted to backtrack, you could backtrack. Um, you'd have to basically go back down, you'd fall off of the stairwell and then you could backtrack up to this area and you could get what's in those um, crates if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but that's the boss. So finally, after the long slog, we are here. And so what we're going to do is as we're going to do that, we're going to save. <laughs> Take this. Fire. Now, if I didn't have the noble armor, this would be a much harder fight because he'd be hitting me for like 400 damage and not um, like 150 damage. Okay. And so, just keep pummeling him with fire. I love how he melts. Okay, I need to cure, her, but she's gonna keep hitting him with it. Oof. So I just loved how this how this guy just melts, like it looks pretty cool. Um, um, how he just how he just keeps melting like that. I always thought that was pretty cool. Okay, when he does that attack, it means he's near death. Um, Mostly melted now. Okay. So 
So as you can see here, um, you know, this is what he does. He just starts attacking with this snowstorm attack because it keeps healing him. And this is why you need to keep pummeling him every single turn um, because, you know, it, you know, you can stay ahead of him. Um, stay ahead of his fire and his ice attacks. Um, so now I'm going to switch over to Benjamin and she is going to use Cure on herself. Damn it. Oh man. And I killed him. Fortunately I don't need to worry about having any experience for Phoebe. <laughs> and see if the ice melted. Don't forget to see Grandpa. Right. Bye. Okay. So, we got our second coin. The river coin. And so now, we are going to Head back out of this place. Now that we've beaten the Bane Man of this area. So if you remember what this area looked like, it was all white and snowy and there wasn't too much around and it was kind of a bleak area. Just wait till we get out. You can see it. else to say at this time um, you know that was kind of the thing is you just try to keep everybody's HP high during that battle because that guy's a punk um, he's a tough one <laughs> he's a really tough one to beat um, he's probably one of the hardest bosses in the game um, just because he has that snowstorm attack that just decimates you if you're not careful um, so here we are. And here's Aquaria now. <laughs> so now that we see everything nice and beautiful, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to buy some bombs because I need to replenish. And I don't really need to sleep for anything right now. Um, but what I am going to do, Spencer is a good friend of Captain Max. Both kind of weird. And then see, this is that little area. I'm not sure why this is here. <laughs> I don't know if they had a thing in mind, but yay. Um, but if you remember that Phoebe said that her grandfather was trapped under the house, this is what she meant. This kind of a theme, it was pretty cool. Okay. So. The ice is melted. How did it happen? Phoebe and I restored the crystal water's light. Then you are the knight in the prophecy. The shield has found its owner. A shield used by a knight in days gone by. Captain Mac found it. Captain Mac? I've heard that name before. For years, Mac's been studying a prophecy. On his way back from doing some research, the lake dried up and his ship ended up on a rock ledge. 
But that's no problem. If we dig from here, we'll be able to reach the ship. Anyway, here's a key. The shield is hidden in the focus tower. And we receive our first key, the Venus key. By the way, Fireberg's been having some strong earthquakes lately. There's an underground river here. We have to dig carefully because the ground is thin. So now we can go in here and we can uh, grab on and we get some cure potions. If we go back up this way, and we can kind of walk up here. Actually, I think, let me see. Hmm. Actually, I think I can get around there. Okay. I don't know that I've ever done this before. I haven't explored this area fully in a long time, so I don't remember too much about this area. Okay, so, as you can see, off to the left, there's a ship on a ledge, and we just heard about Captain Mac, who was on his way back, and his ship, the lake dried up, and his ship is on the ledge. Sounds a bit uh, suspicious, nay? Eh? So, we'll have to go there eventually. Um, but for right now, we don't need to really do anything there, because we can't do anything. In fact, it's kind of scripted that we won't be able to do anything for for a while. Um, let me see here. I did explore down this way, didn't I? I did, yeah, okay. I'm just double checking to make sure. Okay. Because um, I think that's the way you get in to go to, uh, actually, to get to Max's ship, um, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Um, but we'll be back here in a little while. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out up here and uh, I think I'll go up towards the focus tower and then I will uh, um, I just thought that was kind of cool because we came in from this area and if I come out up here I actually come out up above <laughs> um, so we can talk to a few more people here if we want to know a little bit more about the area. Thanks to you, I'm well. You're welcome, Grandma. But, yeah, if you come in here and you can talk to uh, Phoebe. Good luck, Benjamin. So, but yeah, this episode is going to be rather long because that is one of the longest dungeons in the game. And some of the dungeons are actually going to start getting a lot more, um, they're going to, they're going to start having a lot more, um, uh, length to them now. Aquaria looks best from the top of the focus tower. And then she just says the same thing. Hope you're happy with the steel helm. Now what's interesting is if we, I don't know if I really mentioned this before, but if we go down these stairs, there's a crest here. Um, and we will be using this crest later. Um, and uh, we, um, so we will be coming back here later um, to use that crest, uh, or use that crest to come back here later. Um, but right now we're, yeah, I'm not going to be doing it, so not a big deal. All right, so um, I think what I'll do is is I will come right over here, and you can see that there's two battlefields, and then there's the Wintry Temple here, um, and you can see that there's a crest right there that's similar to the crest in the basement of that one house. Um, and we can't get we can't get in or do anything in here right at the moment. There's nothing here we can do, right? Okay. So um, 
I think probably what I'll do is is um, end the episode here, um, and then I will beat um, those two uh, battlefields, and then um, actually, let me see here. I think it might take me a while to get through the focus tower here. Let me see. Okay. And then there's this slice of the focus tower, and I think it might not take me very long. Some awful news made Captain Mac race from his home. Anyway, seek Reuben and Fireberg. Say, what's this statue for? And so, we're pretty stumped. But, we can put a bomb in there. And it opened, found the Venus shield. And so, we have our second shield, the Venus shield. And it protects against paralyzation. Hopefully we won't get paralyzed as much anymore. Now what we want to do is, uh, and then we get our blizzard spell. So this is our third black magic spell. Um, now, remember in the uh, in the wintry cave, um, we uh, or in Falls Basin, we push these little things around. If we push this over to here, and then we come back around the other side, we'll be able to jump over it. And that will get us to where we need to go. But I believe that will be next time on Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Um, I will come back and I'll probably be at this battlefield right here. Um, I'll clear out these battlefields and then um, what I'll do is, is I'll show off the battlefields up there and we'll go to Fireburg and we'll do some other things. So I just want to say once again thank you for tuning in and see what adventures await um, our hero Benjamin as he continues moving forward through the world and as we head towards the village of Fireburg. So thank you and have a wonderful day.